What's up everyone and welcome to a new video. My name is Kyler Holland and I have a YouTube channel that focuses on Premiere Pro tutorials and everything revolving around filmmaking. So be sure to check it out. But today I'm with Adobe and we're gonna be diving into the essential graphics panel within Premiere Pro and showing you all the cool little features about it. So let's jump into it. All right, so this is what we're gonna be working on today. This is a little project that I did not too long ago, and we're gonna be diving into the Essential Graphics panel. Well, if you go up here to the top in Premiere, you'll see this thing called Graphics, and that is the Graphics Workspace. You can also access the Essential Graphics panel by heading up to Window, and then click Essential Graphics. At a basic level, the Essential Graphics panel is helpful when you are editing text. So if you click T on your keyboard and click anywhere in your program monitor and start typing away, you'll instantly notice that on the right hand side, the Essential Graphics panel gives you a ton of options that you can use to adjust your text layer. For example, you can click and drag the X and Y values of your text to change the position. You can also double click on your text layer and adjust the font size as well as the font if need be. The Essential Graphics panel also has a Browse tab, and if you scroll through here, you can see that we have everything from lower thirds to title cards to credit scenes, and it's quite a bit. So if you take your mouse and you hover over each graphic, you'll actually see that it will preview what that animation will look like. You can also use the slider here at the bottom to change the size of these templates if you want to see them a little bit bigger or smaller. And it should be noted that if you take your mouse and hover over the template, you can actually see the animation of what that will look like in your project. I would like to add a lower third in my project. Now, instead of creating the text and stuff myself, I'm going to find it over in the right hand side in the essential graphics. So I'm going to scroll down through here and I found this template called bold lower third left. All you have to do is when you find something that you like, simply click and drag this into your timeline. As soon as you drag it into your timeline, you can see that the animation is already applied, which is pretty cool. Now, if you select on that essential graphic, you'll see that it brings up the edit window on the right hand side. In here, you can adjust the shapes, you can hide or unhide layers, and you can add layers if you would like. It's important to keep in mind that you can actually click on your text in the program monitor and directly manipulate it by clicking and dragging to adjust the scale or double click to change the text as well. This is a quick and easy way to move your essential graphic around. To keep things simple, I'm just gonna double click on the text layer and name this Kyler Holland because that's my name. As you go down the edit page of the essential graphics, you can see that we can align and transform this anywhere we want. I'm a big fan of the align vertically and align horizontally buttons because it quickly and easily aligns it to the center of your clip. But for this example, I'm going to align this to the bottom and to the left, and then you can manipulate the X and Y coordinates to adjust the position of your lower third. But what if you don't like the font that you're using? Well, you can double click on your text layer and head down to text and select any font that you like. You can adjust the tracking of your font, and here's one thing to note. Whenever I am scaling up my text or adjusting the tracking, you'll notice that all of these shape layers are actually scaling with the text layer because they have responsive design. Responsive design is a way to attach layers to each other in a way that lets them scale responsively to new text, different frame sizes, and aspect ratios. So back on the text layer, we can see that we can adjust all these parameters. You can change the fill, you can add a stroke, you can do anything, but we're gonna keep it pretty simple like that. And if you play this back, you'll instantly see that we have created a lower third in no time at all. The great thing about these assets is if you want this to be shorter, just click and drag, and guess what? The animation is still the same, but it's shorter. So you can scroll through here and play around with everything. I mean, they have a follow button if you want to drag that into your timeline. You could have someone follow you on Twitter or Instagram. I'm stoked because the fact that I can drag something from the essential graphics panel into my timeline that helps me perpetuate my story or helps me create text in lower thirds in a fast and efficient manner is 
amazing because I work fast and if I have to spend time creating a lower third, it's gonna take away from time from editing. If you go back to the browse tab and head on over to Adobe Stock, you will instantly be greeted with a ton of more complex templates that you can download. You can scroll through here and find a ton of different templates and assets that you can use. So honestly, this movement response overlay looks pretty cool and I think I can use this for my running scene. So for example, right here when they take off, I think I'm gonna add this asset in here. So in simplest terms, if you just click and drag this into your timeline, you'll immediately see that it has applied the essential graphic to our timeline. And right away, it already looks kinda cool. So if we click on this, every motion graphic template will have different controls from the creator to let you customize it. I can see that I have nine different styles to choose from, so I'm just gonna select one and see what it looks like. With this template, it looks like we also have a bunch of controls like as far as global positioning, global size, and we can change the glow, and we can adjust the colors. So if I wanted to select um, a color in my scene and then make this white, you can do that and adjust this accordingly. And then just like that, you have a quick little animation that works for your project. Well, that's all I have time for for today, but that was a quick overview of the Essential Graphics panel within Premiere Pro. It's a powerful, integrated feature within Premiere Pro, and I love it. It's cool that you can quickly and easily drag templates from anything that you can imagine, and being able to use Adobe Stock to get an arsenal of templates is cool. So again, I'm Kyler Holland. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.